Hey, 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 and welcome back to the channel, Sim Racing Junkies, and all you flyboy junkies out there. And I know there are a few of you watching because I'm seeing this in the comments. So this is a shout out to you, Danger Mouse. This is a, a video I'm going to put together, hopefully, to help you with your issue. And uh, you're not the only one that has this issue, mate. I had this issue for a long time. IL-2 Sturmovic, whether it be the early Forgotten Battle series, whether it be Cliffs of Dover, or whether it be the latest Battle of Stalingrad series, it is an absolute pain in the ass trying to map racing sim pedals using um, a merge software to IL-2 Sturmovic. But I can promise you it can be done both in Universal Controller, and today I'm going to show how to do it with a different app because uh, people are having issues with trying to get this to work in Universal Controller. So I'm going to use an app called Joystick Gremlin today, guys. It's still going to require the use of VJoy, as discussed in the previous video. Now, I'll include a link, a little annotation, guys, in this video in the corner. You'll see it here now. Click on that annotation, guys. That will take you, it'll give you a link in my description, guys, to the video for setting up VJoy. Um, so do watch that to know what I'm talking about. I will include a link in the description to you guys to where you can download VJoy. And I'll also include a link in the description, guys, for the uh, location to download Joystick Gremlin, which is what we're using today. So let's do the first thing that we need to do, guys, and let's get VJoy running. To do that, click on your search bar. I'm using Windows 10, guys. Just type in VJoy, and then you should see Configure VJoy come up as an option. Just click on that. This starts the VJoy application. Now, one thing I've changed from the last video, and you don't have to do this, but it doesn't hurt to do this. Last time, guys, I only selected one axis, but you can actually select all of these axes in VJoy before you start uh, Joystick Gremlin or Universal Controller, and then it just gives you the option when you go into Joystick Gremlin or Universal Controller to select any axes you want to use as a merge axis, okay? So you can indeed have all of these selected, apply them, and then they'll be shown in your Joystick Gremlin uh, app or the Universal Controller app. You can select whichever you want to try and use as a merge axis. Again, make sure this box is ticked here to make sure Enable VJoy is activated. All of this stuff stays as it is. Minimize this only, do not turn it off, it needs to run in the background. Now you'll need to go to the link guys that I supply to get Joystick Gremlin. Download Joystick Gremlin guys, it'll come as a zipped folder. Unzip the folder somewhere, once it's unzipped, double click on the folder. Scroll down until you can find the little Atari Joystick icon here guys, Joystick underscore Gremlin. Double click on that, it'll open Joystick Gremlin. This is what you'll be presented with. Well, this is the version I have, guys. I did download this quite some time ago. It may look different to this. I'm not sure, but it should be in the ballpark. Now, what this is going to show us, guys, is these axes here on the left. Now, if I press on my throttle, nothing's happening because it's already highlighted as X-axis. So that marries up with what Universal Controller sees. If I press down on my clutch, it highlights Z-axis, okay? So indeed... Joystick Gremlin sees my axes the same as what Universal Controller saw my pedal set axis as. This is the Fanatec V3 Club Sport pedals. Throttle is seen as an X axis. Clutch is seen as a Z axis. Your throttles might say something different. Uh, your, your pedal set, sorry, might see something different depending on what your pedal set is. As long as it's showing your throttle and clutch axis as an axis, that's all you need to worry about. Now, how do we get these axes merged? Because we need to merge these two separate axes into one axis. We go up to actions here, guys, in our options along the top here. Click on that, and on the drop-down, guys, select merge axis. It'll bring up this little window for you. Now, this has got a lower half and an upper half. Now, I think this relates to the tiers here of axes, right? So, Lower half, for example, is saying Z-axis. Well, my Z-axis is on the lower portion of these tiers. So if I click on my clutch, it's going to Z-axis on the lower half. It's already set up. So I don't need to change this to anything, all right? It's going to be as it should be. If I click on my, th if I press on my throttle, it's saying the upper tier here is 
x-axis, which is what my throttle is. So I don't need to change anything here. You may need to change these around. Depending on what is seen on your upper half tier here and lower half tier to what your axes are actually reading for your pedal set. Under our VJoy device here, guys, you will basically drop down this manual and you will select what you ticked in the VJoy options. Because I've ticked all of those axes, it's showing they're all available here. I'm just going to stick with Z-axis like I did in the last video. Under operation, guys, just keep it on average for this application. And this can just stay on default. Minimize that. To merge them and actually get them to merge, guys, and work, you need to come up to the little game controller icon here. When you press on this, it'll go green. That means that these are now actually merged. Now to test them and see if they're actually merged, because nothing will happen here if you click on your pedals. But we need to test them anyway and make sure they're working in Windows, just like we did with Universal Controller. So come to Control Panel. If it's not coming up automatically here, guys, type in Control Panel here in your search bar. When it comes up, click on that. You need to go to hardware and sound, click on that. You need to come up to devices and printers, click on that. Now in your devices and printers options, whatever your pedal set is that you use, it should show in here. Whatever it is, guys, hover over it, right click on it. And then once you've right clicked on it with these options, select game controller settings. Go to your VJoy device. Well, firstly, VJoy device should be getting seen in your game controllers. If it's not, you're in trouble and it's and there's some reason your installation hasn't worked or something like that. Hopefully it's just installed as it should and therefore game controllers should see it. Highlight it, click on properties. Now, last time we only had a Z-axis showing because in VJoy only had Z-axis selected, but now I've selected all of those other axes, so I've got a range here. Because I've selected Z-axis though, in Joystick Gremlin, when I press on my throttle or my clutch, this is where I should see movement if Windows is seeing Joystick Gremlin working. And it is, okay? It's working. But it's only halfway working. So it's working as it needs to work as a rudder axis. When I press down on my throttle pedal, it's working. But my throttle pedal is my right rudder and it's going to the left. So that's not quite right. When I press down on my clutch pedal, it's working and it's returning to center when I take my clutch off. But when I press it all the way in, it's going to the right instead of the left. This is my clutch. The rudder should be going to the left. Now we can reverse these axes in Joystick Gremlin. It's a little bit more complicated than Universal Controller. We've got to go in to a mapping system. Uh, we've got to change it there. But we don't need to do that because we can actually do this in IL2 Sturmovic. And I'm going to go into IL2 Sturmovic to show you how to get this mapped and to prove to you that this is actually mapping, uh, that Joystick Gremlin will be seen by IL2 Sturmovic, and we can see how to reverse the polarity to get this working properly in-game. So we know it's working in Windows, so we know that IL2 Sturmovic is going to see this. The trick is just going to be getting IL2 Sturmovic, like with Universal Controller, seeing VJoy before it sees our pedal set. Accesses. We can close control panel now. This is now running, so I'm going to show you what's going to happen if we don't add a little tool in Joystick Gremlin. You'll see that we will still have issues with trying to map this to IL2 Sturmovic. So come to controls. So obviously I'm already running IL2 Sturmovic, guys. You'll need to run IL2 Sturmovic, wait till it boots up and runs. Then come into controls and come all the way down, guys, to your HOTUS control area. You can see here that uh, my rudder is already mapped to VJoy, and I know this because it picks up VJoy for me as ID3, okay? If it doesn't pick up ID3 and it's just got a standard axis, I'll show you that now. If I click on my throttle pedal now, for example, it's just showing my throttle pedal X-axis and I lose the ID3. Click this to bind, press on my clutch, it's only showing my clutch Z-axis. If I click on this to bind, if I click on my throttle, it's only seeing my x-axis, even though I've got these merged and running in joystick gremlin. So I need to make this more sensitive, like we did in Universal Controller in the previous video. I need to make this more sensitive for IL2 Sturmovic to see joystick gremlin working. How do we do this? Right, let's go back to uh, our desktop. To do that, guys, just click on the Windows key. 
once you come back to the desktop, the little tool we need to use to trick IL2 Stermavik or to make our pedal presses more sensitive for VJoy is a little tool. So we go up here to our options along the top here, press on tools, and this little one here, guys, called Input Repeater, click on that. It'll be highlighted in blue now, all right? It needs to be highlighted in blue. Click on your IL2 Stermavik application down here in the taskbar. Get this back up, guys. Now when we click on our rudder pedal assignment here to bind, press on your throttle or your clutch. It's still only seeing this, don't worry. Hold it all the way down to the ground, right? Press your clutch all the way in. Bind this again, bring it out. Keep trying it. Ah, there we go. So what I kept doing, guys, is I kept clicking on this and I kept allowing my throttle to move through its range of motion with that input repeater turned on. So you might have to fiddle with this a little bit to get it to work. Now, we're halfway there now. It's now seeing VJoy, right? And it sees VJoy as ID3. For you, depending on what your pedal set is and depending on how your device manager has installed VJoy, this may say a different ID. It might not be three, but it should say ID something. And that'll be your trigger to knowing that you've actually got IL2 Stermavik to see VJoy. But as I say, we're only halfway there. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See how we've only got one colon here on our Z axis? We need two colons. We need a colon to the right of our Z and to the left. If we don't have that, this is what's going to happen. Let's apply this. Let's have a look at what's going to happen in game. Now, here we are behind the plane. If I now press on my uh, throttle, which should be my right rudder, indeed, it's going to move as it should. Now, see how it's fluttering around a bit? That's because our input repeater is still activated. We do need to turn this off after we've got all this working, guys. You need to go in and turn input repeater off. Otherwise, when you're in game, this is going to flutter around and stuff because the input repeater is going to mess with the uh, rudder inputs. Okay, so we will turn this off. In fact, it's messing with it now. So I'm just going to hit my Windows key because it is a bit annoying. And I'm going to just go up and I'm just going to turn it off for now so then we can see what's happening back in the game. Go back to your game. Okay, now it's not going to flutter around. It should do what it's meant to do. So it's doing what we needed to do. It's sitting in the middle where we want it. If I press on my accelerator pedal, which should be my right rudder. So if I click on my right rudder or my accelerator pedal, it's kind of working, but it's sending us, from when we're looking from the back of the plane, that's going to send us left and not right. So we're not quite there. If I press down on my clutch, it's working as it should. It's engaging the rudder from its central location, but that's going to send us right. So the axis is not quite right. So what we need to do is we need to go back to our Windows desktop because we need to come back to Joystick Gremlin. We need to get that repeater on again, come back to our game. Rightio, go back into your controls to bind this again. Again, I'm just going to use my throttle because I'm halfway there. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click on my throttle. So you're now seeing the pedal set again. Don't panic. Just keep clicking on this, moving your throttle. There we go. So I just kept clicking on this. I kept letting the throttle move through its range of motion. And now I've got what I need. I've got my Z axis under my V joy. And I've got a left and a right colon. Apply. Come back. We'll go back into game. And now what you'll see, whoops, first we need to turn that repeater off or it will mess with our rudder inputs. So come back again to desktop. Once you've got it bound, as it should be bound, turn input repeater off. Come back to your game. Okay, now give them full clicks just to clean anything out, sort out any incorrect inputs. Now both pedals are off, okay, and my rudder is sitting centrally where it needs to. Now if I press on my accelerator, which is my right rudder, it's going to send my plane right. It's working as it should. That's off and returning the rudder to center. Press down on my clutch and it's going to send the plane to the left for my left rudder as it should. Take it off, it returns to the center. It's working as it needs to work. There is one more thing I will mention. Let's go back to our desktop because you may have issues with this. Again, Danger Mouse, if it's not quite sensitive, I'm not sure what pedal set you're using, but uh, this may help you.
if this still is not working. There's one more thing we can do, guys. Okay, so what we need to do, guys, we need to basically leave this in merge mode. Come along your tabs here, the joystick gremlin is seeing all your peripherals at. Press on VJoy device on our x-axis response curve, because this is what's selected. Select your x-axis, in my case, it's my throttle. Click on add. This brings up, guys, a little graph, okay? A couple of things can happen in this graph. We can invert here, right? That is a way that in Joystick Gremlin you can invert your axis. If you're not having luck trying to get it to invert and seeing both of those colons on each side of your z-axis, if you're having trouble doing that, you could indeed just invert the axis here in Joystick Gremlin. I'm going to put that back, otherwise it won't work because I've got mine actually made to invert in IL2 bindings themselves. And then down here, guys, on these two boxes here, right, the two center boxes, this is where you would make your input repeater even more sensitive. And you really only need to put in like 0 0.05 or 0 0.10. You don't need to go much more than that. That'll make that repeater even more sensitive. So if you still can't get it to bind like it just did for me, because your pedal set might not work with IL-2 Sturmovic and Joystick Gremlin quite as easily as the Fanatec V3 pedals, you can come to this and try and up these sensitivities, okay? Once it's working and you've got it bound in IL-2 Sturmovic, make sure you come back and set these back to zero. And of course, remember to turn off your input repeater at the end. Good luck with this, guys. Um, I'm sending out good vibes for you. I hope you can get Joystick Gremlin to work for you if Universal Controller won't. You guys stay safe, stay healthy, and take it easy out there.